I come to you in the name of the Lord. Whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There is mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> to the word of God we go. Proverbs chapter 16. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without rights. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king, his mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A just weight and balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh of right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. And the light of the king's countenance is life and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather than chosen silver? The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. Whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. A froward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbor and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shuddereth his eyes to devise froward things. Moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. The lot is cast into the lap but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Amen. The Word of God. This is encouragement along the way. I pray that you have been encouraged by the holy reading of His Word. Let's talk about it a little bit. Verse number 6. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. Very straightforward. If you've been listening to any of these Proverbs you've been maybe perchance hearing about the fear of the Lord. It is the beginning of wisdom. If you have iniquity in your life, if you have sin that has taken over your soul, that has taken over your actions, that has taken over your behavior, 
The fear of the Lord will rescue you. It will lead you to repentance. His kindness towards us leads us to repentance. If you are trapped in sin and desperately want to get out, call to the name of Jesus. He's no further than a prayer away. And He's even closer than that. He stands at the door and He knocks. Will you open the door to Him today? I pray that you will. Let's go to verse 18 and 19. Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Guys, this is so huge. This is the reason that Satan got cast down from heaven because of pride. If you can master this uh, understanding, if you can fully grasp this understanding, then you are well on your way to righteousness. Let pride not have any part of you. Let it not have any home in you. Any kind of ego that you have, any kind of haughty spirit that you have, any kind of, oh man, I'm all that, oh man, look at me. Just get rid of all of it. It's not serving you. It's not serving you at all. In fact, it's killing you. It's destroying you. Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before the fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Verse 25, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. That goes with the previous verses. Our heart is utter wickedness, y'all. Even our uh, so-called righteous acts are filthy without Jesus being at our very center. Only that which is done for Christ will last. Given to the poor, building buildings, building great fields, doing great things in this life. Nothing is going to last. It's all going to burn. Only that which is done for Christ will last. And I'd like to end with verse 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. Is anger inside of you? I pray now that you will just let it all go. Lay it all down at the feet of Jesus. Lord, please forgive us our failures unto you as we forgive those who have failed us, Lord. Lord, as you forgive us our failures, the ways that we have failed you, may we forgive all others who have failed us. And may we, re may we receive the peace that transcends all human understanding through Christ Jesus. Amen. To the hymn of today we go. A hymn of testimony, witness, and evangelism called, Oh, How He Loves You and Me. Uh, based off John 15, verse 9, which says, As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. By the way, John 15, an amazing chapter of the Bible. Highly recommend you read it. Copyright 1975 to this arrangement. 1976 by Word Music Inc. All rights reserved. Fair use. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go, his love for mankind to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. And I would like to end with a short span of verses in Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 20. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the day of evil. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparations of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all power and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Sole Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, glory to God in the highest, glory to God forever and ever in Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name I pray, and in the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave I pray, amen, amen, and amen.